Now you genuine love respect. God works in mysterious ways. When thinking a love department didn't work, you was just about to give up on the love department. Because everybody didn't see your worth. They sure changed you when it came to communication. They gaslighted you, acted like they were so in tune with you and invested in you at the end of the day. Only to realize that you had to pull your energy away because they wasn't for you. God showed you at the end of the day. They wasn't supposed to be part of your journey. You was hurting yourself with your own words. Going back and forth with someone at the end of the day that didn't see your worth, let alone the value of your time. God removed you for those people, for all the right people. God removed you from those people for all the right reasons. You didn't realize that the day why you was being pulled away. Only to realize that the day you was only hurting yourself with your own words. Actions for even exchange. When someone tried to shortchange you that day, when it came to communication, they was only playing with your attention span. And I say that respectfully, trying to psych you out your thought process, your freedom, your pockets, and your eyesight, because they didn't have good intentions. Third party conversations, wow. They didn't see your worth. They didn't see you. Only you. They said they only had eyes for you, but they gaslight you to turn around at the end of the day to shortchange you. When it came to communication, because they was into somebody else. When God removed you for all the right reasons to show you what in there, you got to sit down for a minute to reevaluate your thought process to find yourself. When you least expected the love of your life walked into your life, when you thought your heart didn't work. The love of your life walked into your life. Love at first sight, your heart beeped. Something that you didn't know, it actually worked. Your heart worked that day. It worked every day after that day when the love of your life walked into your life. They meant what they said, that they was real with you to understand God's plan that short changed you when it came to communication because they was willing to choose you because they understood the prayer. They understood that y'all was supposed to be together, understanding that your steps was ordered when you least expected the love of your life walked into your life to understand that they understood trauma and pain that it was in store within them and they wasn't trying to short change themselves when it came to valuing your time because they knew how it felt for somebody to short change them. And they didn't want to be around that they passed. So when they walked into your life, they showed you a real looks like a person. person. They didn't have to gaslight you, manipulate you, cite you out your thought process, or your freedom, your pockets, your eyesight, because you can't buy true love. And I say that respectfully. They move in accordingly on God's timing. Something that you're not used to, somebody being real with you. When it comes to communication. When it comes to communication. Wow. That energy hit different. When the love of your life walks into your life, they're willing to choose you Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and just because moments. Because they understood God's time and the value of your time. Not to short change you. But to show you why you're choosing your future. Why you decide to come out your comfort zone for all the right reasons. It wasn't a walk in the park when you found yourself that day. To realize at the end of the day, could this be real? Could this be true? Could this be the person for me? You ask God for guidance. God allowed you to see removing the mask within the mask that you had on you that day. I want you to realize that at the end of the day, you wasn't trying to shortchange yourself, to suffocate yourself anymore. To hold yourself back. But you allowed yourself to breathe and allowed yourself to feel the emotion that was real. When the love of your life walked into your life. Your prayers was answered that day when you least expected. You asked for a prayer within a prayer. When you least expected, God wasn't on your timing, but God was always on time when it came to you. When you least expected, the love of your life walked into your life and your prayers was answered. You was asking for someone to come into your life to value your time, not to short change you. Someone to love you, mean what they say, not to gaslight you. Someone to come into your life, not to manipulate you. Someone to come into your life to be real with you. Someone to come into your life to understand what a real relationship looks like up close in person. Someone not to remind you of your past. But when the love of your life walked into your life, they understood communication. They understood boundaries. They understood respect. They understood loyalty to meet you halfway. And you was willing to accept the challenge within a challenge. Your love language. It actually worked that day. Because you understood God's plans. You walked by faith, not by sight. So when your prayer was answered that day when you least expected, God allows you to accept the gift from with the gift. The gift from God. And you was willing to accept the gift from God. To be kind, to respect each other, to meet each other halfway, to be loyal to each other. All you two see is each other. Third party conversations, nah. You both were only a one person person only. I wasn't trying to remind yourself of your past when it came to trauma and pain. When the love of your life walks into your life, they show you why you're choosing your future to better yourself, not to shortchange yourself. Because your past don't live for the day. 
When the love of your life walks into your life, they almost the God's timing to value your time. <laughs> it's the full process for me. I gotta go. <sighs> love is real. Love is one of a kind. With the right one that's truly for you. If you're not mentally ready to be in a relationship, leave innocent people alone. When someone walks into your life, you don't know what they've been through when it came to trauma and pain. But they knew how to show up for you without gaslighting, manipulating you, playing all the narcissist mind games with you. Showing you that your past does not live here for all the right reasons. Because they understood trauma and pain that was in store within them. And they went within to do the proper healing. So they'd be able to show up for you and respect you. Because they understood God's time and the value of time. There are genuine people out here that are looking to be loved in the most healthiest way, not to be shortchanged. Because they understood trauma and pain that was installed within them. You don't understand what it took for them to overcome those obstacles to find themselves, to become their best self vision of themselves. Good day, bad day, misunderstanding day. When they're willing to value your time, be mindful when you judge a book by its cover or take it someone's kindness for weakness to manipulate their character for the description that they truly not. Because you're not used to somebody being real or, or, or showing you love in a healthy way when your past don't live for the day. Leave innocent people alone that understands communication when it comes to showing up for you. And I say that respectfully because not everybody's on that mental state as to low vibrational. And I say that respectfully when it comes to real love. They understood the equal exchange to meet you halfway. They understood the equal exchange not to shortchange you when it comes to communication because they understood God's plan. To value your time. Be careful when someone walks into you like to honor you and respect you. And is willing to choose you Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Leave innocent people alone. Who is not deserving of the short end of the stick. Because you're not ready for love. Or you want to sit here and play mind games. It's a thought process for me. Leave innocent people alone. Because love is real. Love is one of a kind with the right one. That's truly for you. Stop playing mind games with people out here. If you're not ready for love, stop manipulating people, acting like you're so in tune and invested in them at the end of the day when you're not. Leave innocent people alone. I say that respectfully. It's a thought process to me. Just because someone gave up on you, don't give up on yourself. Just because someone overlooked you, don't give up on yourself. You are genuinely loved by all the right people. You are genuinely respected by all the right people. And you deserve to be treated with respect. 365 days with no malicious intention to bring harm towards yourself or others around you. Protect your energy because not everybody's deserving your time of your day. You matter. You are worthy. Loving yourself is not a crime. Never allow someone to shortchange you when it comes to communication because you choose your best self-vision of yourself because you understood trauma and pain and you went with them to do the proper healing. They don't understand what it took for you to overcome that trauma and pain. It was never overnight process and never allow someone to gaslight you, allow you to believe it would be an overnight process when it comes to trauma, healing, and pain. And I say that respectfully. Loving yourself is not a crime. And God has not dimmed the light within you because you decided to remove the mask and show for yourself in the most healthiest way. Because God said there better days ahead. You matter, you're worthy. Never allow a hate in disguise or personal intentions like your throat posture, your freedom, your pockets, your eyesight. Because you matter, you're worthy. Loving yourself is not a crime. Believing in yourself to show for yourself to understand God's plan, wow. You was patient with your process because you understood God's timing. You walk by faith, not by sight. God said there better days ahead. I truly preach the time to the genuine ones only. Have a safe day. Have a safe week. Have a safe weekend. Have a safe remaining month. Have a safe remaining year. Protect your energy because not everybody deserves your time of your day. You matter. You are worthy. <laughs> I gotta go. I need a nap. Oh, it's the thought process for me. Leave innocent people alone if you ain't ready for love. Stop shortchanging yourself playing in your own face. It's the thought process for me. Because it ain't going to be an even exchange if somebody actually find a love for somebody else that actually loves them. Hello, communication. Be real with yourself, not shortchange yourself. <clears throat> I got to go. Now you drink love respect. Have a good day.